Hello ladies, it's B, Penny. Um, I've just popped on to do a quickie. Um, I don't know if I, how many ladies have um, heard about uh, Carolyn Withington's um, Mermaid Crafts. She's on our Facebook page with that. She's made a little group up and everybody's doing whatever they want really as long as it's connected to a mermaid um, and you can enter as many projects I think as you want and then they're all going in um, a tumbler type of thing names and that so I do love mermaids and I love shells as everybody knows so um, I did this for the one well, anyway for the um, challenge or the mermaid craft challenge so it's a bookmark it will be kept in here you know on these little plastic folders i forgot i had these but um but i was wondering because there's a, quite a few elements on there and um but that's quite nice that she could stay in the folder so the mermaid i just um did her on a piece of normal cotton on my embroidery hoop and uh, if I lift up her hair you can see I've done her back just in in beige I just drew the design myself for the size and everything I wanted I can't do faces so they're always going to be the back of mermaids for me. <laughs> so, uh, so that's her back and I did her arms coming up um, and she's holding a little sequin shell yeah and I put a couple of little uh, starfish inside it. The actual um, tail is some lovely fabric. It's, it's meant to be, I think, like, um, it's a gauzy. I haven't got much of it left, but <laughs> I've got a little bit more than this, but it's just like stretchy nylon. But when I look closely at the pattern, inside it looked a bit like fish fish scales to me i don't know if it meant to be snakes but it looked like fish scales so i thought it's brilliant so i put a bit of padding under her and um i sewed her with that and then i've done um couching all the way around with some gold th um thread and silver thread up here uh, i carried on with the thread for her, um, what do you call them, on the tail, not scales are they, the lines that you see on the fish and um, I put a couple of diamantes in and then I found this tiny tiny little uh, seahorse it's another thing that you meant to put on your nail to decorate your nails so that fitted in nice, I gave her a little bra strap made out of um, the same couching I've done. Her hair is actually wool. That's all it is. It's just wool, coloured wool. And um, but I think it's worked out really nice. I, like, I love the colours in that. Uh, I found some more laces and they took the look of shells to me. So I thought they'd be nice. And this lovely material, this is something else. Um, it was all pleated. I'm looking around because, oh, here it is. Oh, look at that. How much I've got. Mm. Look. But you come all pleated. See, like that. It's got that lovely sheen on it. And that was from Arthur's niece in Scotland, Zoe. Zoe McSorley. <laughs> so thank you, Zoe. Uh, it's coming to really really handy i did sew the front uh you know the sides by a um, machine and there's a little bit of wadding in in the middle uh, just to give it a bit of support okay on the back out of the same piece of lace i found this flower to cut out which i thought was nice and this little bit and at the bottom i don't think it needed anything else so, so that's my little mermaid. Um, 
which is going, I was going to say, in, in my shop, but it's not. It's, well, it's going in, um, I don't know, I, I could sell it. Um, Cal Rivington's Mermaid Crafts Challenge, which is on Facebook. So, isn't that pretty? So that's one. Before I did that, I'd done this. I keep getting little bits of embroidery. So I find what I'm doing at the moment is not dirty crafting, but you know, um, mucky crafting, <laughs> whatever, painting and sticking and gluing and all that type of crafting in the morning. And then I give myself a rest. And then in the afternoon, I try and sit down somewhere quiet and uh, with the cat naturally with the cat you've got to have the cat with you haven't you and um and do a little bit of embroidery so this was one i did so it's just flowers done in it done in a row and it and it keeps me um experimenting you know with the flowers and what have you and again i do like these sleeves be because um especially for embroidery and that because it, it keeps it all clean and nice but the only thing i do like i do like putting tassels on um bookmarks and of course i don't know whether to make a hole just through just through the plastic or make a hole all the way through if i made it just through the plastic i suppose i'd have to do a shorter a shorter um i don't know i'd like your advice on that ladies tell me what you think or should it not or should these type never have um tassels i do like tassels on my bookmarks but uh, i'm stumped i'm stumped of where to put them when i'm using these so if you've got any ideas or it's a yes or a no please let me know in the comment box and Please, if you're not a subby, please sub. I'll try and do some as often as I can. Um, 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 I appeal, I think I appeal to people who... <laughs> oh, there's the cat. Um, who don't stick to just one craft, because I, I just don't. One, it depends on the mood I'm in. Two, it depends what strength I've got, you know, my hands and things like that. So I end up picking up lots and lots of different crafts. Um, so that, that that's me. So, if, I mean, if you just like journaling or something, that's not me. If you just like uh, embroidery or um, cross-stitch, that's not me either. I can't cross-stitch now because my eyes are, or my one eye is too bad now, so I can't count the, 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 the little um, squares so I'm left with crazy stitching, crazy embroidery and stuff like that so there we go ladies so that's my two I think they're quite pretty bookmarks but let me know your thoughts on that ladies thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day and um, I'll go and make a cup of tea and speak to the cat for a while Bye for now.